So here we have a reuse center, and this is where you s resell everything that you take in? Yep, and um, obviously it's really cheap, you know, mm -hmm. just gives a little bit of, uh, bit of an Cool, I might have to shop here. <laughs> we have things in bulk, we have things not in bulk. It's just really great, especially if you're into crafts or the do-it-yourself project. Yeah. You definitely would want to come here first. Um, things from little collectible knickknacks. Uh-huh. You know, we got it looks like a thrift kids, store, basically. Exactly. Some kids' toys. Nice. We got a bunch of fabrics. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Clothes. There's a whole mess and of fabrics. $8 coffee wow. pot. Wow. <laughs> and then we have things for, uh, you know, like an actual big, like this dresser. That's $45. It's a nice That's dresser. That's a good deal. And then, like, like I said, in bulk, there's cardstock. There's, like, tiles. Interesting. I'm definitely going to have to come around here. I'm happy I found you guys. All kinds of stuff. Screen replacements, frames, so that's like more industrial type. Oh, little boxes. Like Metal scraps, so you know. Very good. Metal. Very good stuff. And then Very we also good. have, you know, the cool too. kitchen sink looking. Anything from little girls' clothing to suits. Mm -hmm. So you have like a wide range. Office supplies, you know, things. Even it would be great for um, kids that are going away to dorm uh -huh. to come here to get their stuff. True, stores. very you know, true. Yeah. Compact and thing you have the desk lamp. That's yeah. true after they're they done, right? A lot of it on the street. You know, right. Really... Exactly. So, you know, you come here, you get it cheap, and then you just drop it right back off when true. you're done. True. Yeah. Instead of throwing it saves out. Saves you money, saves. Right. Yeah, it's like a little thrift shop. Actually, I see a lot of things that I can definitely use out here. Right, and it's just, it's good knowing that, you know, you're saving it pretty much. Do you right. Um, no, it's very good, thank you. Okay. I'm trying this to figure out. kind of an informal Closer. thing. We just tell everyone to flip the light switch when they come in. Okay. But um, stories behind that, these pictures are actually all from a hotel franchise that sold and became another hotel franchise. Uh -huh. But when they do that, they get rid of everything because oh. each hotel system is basically the same no matter where you go. Uh -huh. um, they also had uh, televisions. They had mm. curtains. And those um, are the tubes that we used for our, um, our noise makers. But it says blade. What is yeah. this? There's something the, in it. Those are expired medical supplies. Really? They tried shipping that's them to scalpel. Mexico so they don't have to use rusty knives to do surgery. Oh, that's and crazy. They rejected at customs because they're expired. Wow. What kind of? Like, that's insane. That's a scalpel and that's, that's expired. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. How much are they? Look at that. A they're whole. Three dollars to, or uh, two dollars for. Whoa. Now what do we have so, here? Those are surgical sponges. Sponges. Very, we used to have a lot of gauze and stuff too, but those are great if you're doing gardening to clean your nails. Uh-huh. Um, I use it to scrub the bathroom. That's five dollars a bag? Uh, yeah. Probably be good yeah. for them. Right? Like daycare or something? Well, daycares. Yeah, could daycares could use it too. For a little first aid uh, classroom kits. Interesting. Yeah. Now what are these things? Uh, that all came from Woodstock Chimes. They used to manufacture up in Shokan. Um, they don't manufacture there anymore. Uh -huh. um, those, they said they're for percussion, and we can't figure out why, hmm. but we call them the chairs. <laughs> and yeah, they look like little chairs, right? Yeah. Whole mess um, of stuff. The uh, rings came from Macy's. They were having a breast cancer awareness campaign, and uh, they Where were are we looking at the here? Rings. These are the pink rings right here. Oh, they're huge. Okay. Yeah. I was looking for little rings. Yeah, the little girls okay. like them. We had someone come in, and he hot glued them all together, and he made a vase out of them. Nice. So, uh, nice. basically anything you want to make out of it. These are also from Woodstock Chimes. These are the... Okay. Now I you see. can start to see the chime. Oh, I can see coffee together, coasters right? here. There you go. I make. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to make coffee coasters. There you go. Here's some. Coffee oh well, thank coasters. you. <laughs> the kids also like to glue these beads on here. This is part of a polishing process from Woodstock Chimes. Oh, okay. Um, I think Gia was was using them to put into the tubes yeah. to make noisemakers and stuff out. Okay, of yeah, I saw that out there. So, oh, that's the more story, of a scalpel. The story with the tubes. Is uh, this comes from a knee replacement manufacturer? Okay. So it's sterile packaging. Uh -huh. the titanium parts come in. Uh huh. When they take the parts out in the lab, they throw this away because it's just packaging. Right. 
So fishermen like it too because you can put your keys and your lures in it there. It looks waterproof, water. I'm thinking, right? Yeah, it floats. I'm going to have to get a few of them later. <laughs> That's uh, something I'll be trying out. Well, this is, um, wow, it's amazing. So much. There's more tubes. Yeah. And There's all kinds of, what is this? Maybe two to three percent of what's out there that could be reused. What are these? Interesting. Yep, that's from Woodstock Chimes too. That's the Oh, that's the in the middle of it with Oh the, wow. The metal ringers? Yeah, I see. Hmm. Well, taking other people's waste and reusing it. The records. See the old vinyl record yeah. albums? Those have gotten popular. I've had them used. Uh, mostly folks take them so they can play them. Yeah. But there was a woman who um, what they do is they, they spray paint them, uh -huh. and she works at a senior residence home, and they make they make pictures and things out of them. I Which had a, a really um, cool idea back in the day when CD-ROMs were um, uh, burning CD-ROMs uh -huh. was a lot of failures. <laughs> I had a wall of CD-ROMs, a blanks of, 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 of failed neat. CDs, and then you always got those uh, free samples in the mail, uh -huh. and I always I kept them. Put the silver side up, and I made an entire wall. I had a computer store that in Germany. Crazy. Isn't that? Yeah. Yeah, but that was really cool. I it was really cool. <laughs> I saw a post where you can cut up your CDs, mm -hmm. and then you like flower pots or bases, and you glue on uh -huh. to kind of make a mosaic. Okay, yeah. And then that from works. the sun hitting all different angles. That's really cool. Right. Yeah, it looked really great. Actually. Right. And candle makers too. You do a jar, and then you can put like a candle mm -hmm. in it. Okay, right. That's you cool. Show me your your uh, dream catchers. Yeah, I showed him so the craft table. Idea. It is. I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah. That's a cool idea for the kids. Well, you got a lot of stuff. Let me browse around a quick here. I'm definitely going to have to come back now that I know you exist. <laughs> As I said, I found you from uh, the Craigslist ad. That's good. That's good. Yep. I'm glad it kind of came out because I'm not sure. I, I, this is really um, a diamond in the rough. Uh-huh. It's best kept secret. So. Yeah. I'm not nope. for sale. <laughs> I'm not for sale. Great stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. a great place. Really good. Now I know where I'm going to go. Look at here. There's tiles of various yeah, kinds. Look at this. Over in that oh, boy. Door. Oh, look at that. I actually like this one. I might be coming back here and checking stuff out here. This yeah. is nice. Oh, I wish I knew this place existed. Really? I'm building a tiny house on wheels. Okay. I hope you don't mind being on YouTube. I'm, uh, I, I do YouTube videos for a living. Yeah, I'm building a tiny house on wheels, and um, Where? Uh, I'm in, uh, well, I don't want to say, I'm just no. outside town a ways, and I um, well, I'm using... There's some Rosendale that are building one. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll have to check it out. It's a very popular thing. Yeah, I'm using mostly recycled materials. Fantastic. And there's more tiles in that bin right by the door. Okay. Yeah. I definitely, definitely, yeah, thank you. Well, I know where I'm going to start looking for my materials from now on. Well, there's some nice looking tiles. I think that's for the floor. I might have my bathroom tiles here. Hmm. Well, happy I found this place. All kinds of stuff here. Look at that door, hardware, everything. There's just about everything. This is like the mother load for DIY. There's electrical. Lamps, fixtures, hardware galore. I'm gonna have to bring, come up here and spend some time. Definitely gonna have to spend some time looking through here. Furniture, parts. And then the food inside. Um, she had like lentil soup and she had I think, really a three bean chili. Uh -huh. And it's all vegan. And it, that the food was actually made and supplied by the food during her clean sweep that she was talking about uh -huh. during the spring when she goes in and cleans out all the students' stuff that they would throw away. Yes. A lot of that is canned foods. So she brings them back here and whatever people don't take at the giveaway, mm -hmm. you know, supplies our refreshments for this event. Nice. So that was all uh, recycled, yeah. recycled and food, but still food, good and edible. Right down to the refreshments, to the right? puppy dogs. Wow. Nice. Well, everybody, recycling, recycling center, really good stuff.